guys uh, welcome to tech design i hope everyone is doing great and enjoying all my videos so in this tutorial i have come up with a new 3d model example as you can see here this is our uh, model today so i will just try to create this model so if you have any concerns or questions you can just comment in the section below i will try to answer them so let's start this so i'll just go to new file and uh, i'll set, select a model since this it is a 3d model so i'm going to select a model and click okay so this will take you to on a 3d workbench so we'll just go to sketcher environment and i'll just select a base plane and click ok so now uh, as you can see here uh, we are having the simple you know rectangle which is of 96 by 64 so let us create that so i'll just go to rectangle and it should be from center so we'll just select this and create this let's give a dimension so this is a uh, 90 6 mm and this is 64 mm okay so let's finish this and we have a depth here so as you can see depth is 20 mm so let us give 20 mm depth i'll just extrude this up to 20 mm okay 20 mm is here so let's click okay so now uh, the critical part comes as you can see here this uh, edge we have to create this wall we have to create the whatever the back side of the wall so this wall we have to create so we have a very tricky you know dimensions over here these dimensions are not given as you can see here this depth is not given whatever the length of this straight line is not given whatever this length is not given so only thin dimension is given is here this point so from this point so from the base it is 146 mm and from this edge it is 64 mm so we need to create that so in order to create what i will do is i'll just go to sketch and i'll just select the center as you can see this is plane is center and i'll just click ok and now uh, simply just create as edge uh, edge lines so I'll, this is my first line and uh, this is my second line ok and i'll just make a simple you know uh, line which is a construction line so let's draw a construction line so this construction line should be perpendicular to this line so now we can see here perpendicular symbol which is nothing but it is perpendicular already so we'll just give it as in uh, construction line and let's trim the extra portion so this is not required for me and also uh, this point should lie on this point so okay so we have this now and now as you can see here there is a radius of 15 mm so let us give a fillet f is the shortcut so this is 15 mm okay and now uh, as you can see here uh, this is uh, the length of for this one is 32 mm plus whatever the length of this base so the length of base is 12 mm so 32 plus 12 mm so let us give 32 plus 12 mm dimensions so this dimension is 32 plus 12 mm okay so which is nothing but 44 mm okay so now this should be uh, whatever the construction line we have so this construction line is 45 degree angle with this one so let us give 45 degree angle between that so go to angular dimension so this to this it is 45 okay so start providing the you know dimensions so that you will you know uh, your uh, dim you know sketch will complete automatically so now as you can see here this dimension is 146 and here it is 64 so let's give a linear dimension so from this point to, so to this edge it is 146 and from this edge to this edge it is 64 okay so now uh, as you can see here our sketch is fully consistent so even though we are not provided these dimensions as you can see this length is we are not provided and this length is also not given our uh, sketch is fully constrained now so as you can see here uh, we have an offset here so this uh, offset will be of uh, let me see where it is given it is 26 here over here so which is nothing but uh, okay 12 mm so which is a 12 mm of you uh, know uh, dimension so let us give that 12 mm 32 plus whatever the 12 mm we have here so go to offset and here is offset 
and this is my offset which is of 12 mm it should be in the opposite direction so let us select all this click ok ok so now I'll just close this curve in order to have an extrude here so this is the curve we just need to close and here as well ok now let us finish this sketch so we have we got this section so let us go to extrude and let us see what is the dimension so as you can see here this is a 64 mm width so let us give 64 mm so i'll just select a feature curve now and it should be in symmetric value so 64 divided by 2 and it should be united with the body click ok so now we have uh, you know uh, this flange is created we have a circle here so let us create that circle as well so let's go to sketch again and on this face i'm going to have a sketch so this sketch uh, what is the dimension we have let us see the dimension 52 and uh, it is 32 so now as you can see here this is 52 and 32 so let us create that 52 32 and as well as this arc whatever the arc we have here so first let us create an arc here so this is until this edge and now from this point one is 52 mm and one is 32 mm so you can create anywhere and just go to concentricity so it should be concentric okay so these are the three curves we have to select you know create circles so let us finish this sketch and now i'm going to extrude this sorry so let us select a single curve and it should be united so first we'll select this it should be in the opposite direction of 12 mm and it should be united okay so now uh, we have this you know um, one more as you can see here there is a one more wall which is of uh, the length will be 32 mm so let us create a 32 mm go to here and let us select this curve and this curve and it should be 32 mm so it should be united with the body click ok so now we are left with the whatever the wall we have here which is of 26 mm offset so let us create that uh, you know uh, face so here is the sketch so i'm going to create a sketch on this and we have to create an offset line of uh, 26 mm so let us go to offset and for this line so it is, should be 25 26 mm so let's click ok and we'll just remove this whatever the dimension line we have so we'll just give our own dimension here 26 mm and it should be parallel to this so it should be parallel to this okay so now we have an arc here so this arc and also there is an one more arc which is this arc so make sure that these two arcs are tangent and this also tangent so now we have to give a dimension for this so let us go to radial dimension and this should be 55 so now as you can see here we have a 55 mm radius okay and then these two should be you know in the same line so in order to do that i'll just create a simple line here okay so which is you now a uh, construction line go to construction line and this point should lie on this line okay so now uh, we are left with only these things so we have we are you can see here the line is going beyond this sketch so we just model and we have to create an you know a line here so that it should stop at one point so let us trim this now so go to t command and trim this extra portion okay so this is our uh, simple profile and uh, we'll just create it now we'll finish the sketch okay uh, we don't have a line here so let us create this line as well from here to here finish the sketch okay so let's go to extrude and single curve 
so these are the curves that I'm going to select stop let us stop this at intersection okay so let us keep it as a static wireframe and this is the curve that we have created okay now let us keep it as shaded okay so now uh, let us see what is the dimension for that so where is the dimension given i think this dimension is not mentioned anywhere it has to be mentioned over here but it is not mentioned so let us assume that uh, dimension so let us go to symmetric value okay So what I'll do is I'll just reduce this value to 10 mm. Let us see how it looks. So 10 mm looks a little bit more than that looks here. So let us give a little bit lesser value. 5 mm will be fine. I think 8 mm is um, too much. Let's give 6 mm and I'll just click OK. So now as you can see here, uh, our model is almost ready and we are left with some holes here as you can see here, uh, holes with a diameter of 6 mm. So let us give that diameter of 6 mm and we are also left with some, you know, uh, edge blends. So first we will just provide, uh, you know, uh, these circles and then we can just go to edge blends. So we'll just go to sketch element on this plane and let us go to circle and let me create two circles. So it's a diameter of 10 mm and this is also 10 mm okay so now we need to give some dimensions to this so let us make a collinear so these two should be lying on same vertical line and let us see the dimensions over here what are the dimension we have so this is 60 and 18 and this is 32 so let us give that now this is 60 and one edge it is 18 and then this is 32 so from here to here it is 32 okay so now it is properly in position so let us give a hole here so it should be subtracted we can also provide an whole option which is there over here so this will take you know predefined values okay just give okay so now we are you know got even uh, the holes as well so now we are left with only edge blends so we need to provide an edge blend in such a way that where and all it is provided over here so let us start providing the edge blends I'll go to edge blend and these this should be 2 mm everywhere it is 2 mm so let us provide a 2 mm of edge blend okay and then i think these edges We'll finish this. Apply. And now we have to provide this as well. And these two edges. Okay. 
so now we are left with uh, only one feature that is uh, we have to remove this body as you can see here there is an uh, you know um, base which is there but in the drawing we have seen here and this this view as well as in this view there is a complete hole through hole so we just need to remove that in order to remove that let us switch on all the sketches so yeah switch on all the sketches and as you can see here this hole we have to give now so go to extrude and select this sketch okay and then it should be in the opposite direction it should be subtracted from the body okay so now i think i'll just control w and hit everything and so show only solids this is all about how we can make this model guys so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i'll try to answer it please subscribe to my channel hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys